So, welcome to Salvador. So, we just arrived. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. Really tiring airplane ride. So, after we came back from Patagonia, we flew 10 days later straight from Santiago de Chile to Salvador de Bahia for only 110 US dollar with Sky Airlines. So, this is our new place. Not very big. But it has a really nice pool and air condition. Wow. So our breakfast. Wow. For four, no. For four, no. See, 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 see. Yeah, lots of typical Brazilian thing. Lele de padaria. I have no idea what it is. And also here this cream. Well, this is just butter. Sorry, new. I have no idea. What is this? Maracuya juice, I think. We've had a great Airbnb, but unfortunately it was not too close to the city center. So we could either take a bus for one US dollar, which takes 45 minutes, or a taxi for five dollar, which goes straight downtown. So we just arrived in uh, downtown. Oh. Safety check. Drums, beaches and Caipirinha. That's Salvador de Bahia. Well, mostly it's drum downtown, especially on this Saturday where there was some kind of festival, which uh, was really cool since they had live music and lots of people on the street dancing. Salvador is known for his crime, but we felt really safe because there was police always everywhere downtown so it's totally fine just to walk around in the city center uh, just not too late but even after dark there's a lot of protection and we feel safe it's a beautiful old town here here the streets oh they have an art gallery Salvador downtown is kind of a maze, but I really love it. Basically, you can turn off Google Maps, just stroll around and see what you can find. There are art shops, cafes, cool architecture. Basically, just walk around the streets, see maybe there are drum concerts playing just random stuff and I really enjoy this kind of exploring when you go without a plan you don't know what to do and it's mainly cool for the first days oh, the and guests. then you can make a plan and see okay what did you miss oh the famous carnival sculpture here's the port oh, the port okay Okay. Salvador downtown is on the hill, so you always have a great view on the ocean and the rest of the city. The houses look really old. From this viewpoint, you can see the other part. It's not the other island, it's just the other coast. So we walked more in downtown, and they also had live music because of this. A festival on Saturday. So um, my girlfriend even thought it's carnival, but I said no, people are not dressing up. It's not carnival, it's just a festival. Carnival is the same, but it's people dressing up. And I was also really interested to see the people making art from the fruits and all kinds of artsy stuff. What is this? Hey. Oh, the cashews here. Money. Like 20 ATMs. I've never seen so many. Here's the camcorder. You can see the other islands. They have a beautiful church. So after spending a few hours downtown, we decided to take the elevator and go to the artsy market. So here's the elevator, 15, 15 cents only, which is, uh, I don't know, very little money. 
you can go up and down. They use the elevator. It's not expensive. And now we're down. So now we're going to Veracruz. Here's our boat. Even though the other coast don't appear too far, and also the ride only costs two dollars, I didn't expect that this journey takes an entire hour with the ferry. But it's a beautiful ride, you can see the skyline and it's not too shaky, depending on the weather, so nobody threw up and I also felt fine without seasickness. So, we arrived. Let's see what this island has to offer. So welcome to Veracruz, there's a little train and it's a little coastal village. So this coastal village is called Veracruz and it has not too much to offer besides the church and uh, the beach. And the beach is really cool, yeah. it was uh, really nice and the beer was cheaper than in the other side. It was a rather spontaneous trip. But well, I recommend only going there if you have plenty of time. Yeah, I just love the palms. There's the train. Lunch at the beach, nine dollar for two plates, but with a priceless view. It was very delicious. And she hasn't even started eating. Now we finished. Now we have some nice beer. It's nice here. It's a Vesa for a dollar fifty, half a liter, and nice people. Take a joy to see your price being paid at this age, mamãe. É um real e pada doce e salgada, viu gente? É de mamãe, é outro sabor aqui. So after two hours or so, we decided to go back to Salvador. Here's a tourist market, Mercado Modelo. Lots of souvenirs. Seems to be a historical market. Lots of tourists here. So, I totally enjoyed this uh, crafty market, but Francisca felt bored and pushed to go back to the center to buy tickets for the Caipuera show. I enjoy this place. Gonna have a concert. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's Michael Jackson. Those beautiful hours for sunset. Yeah? Oh no. It's a beautiful evening atmosphere here. Oh yes. It's a motorbike to the church. Now, Brazil is a very Christian country, therefore you find lots of beautiful churches all around the country and also Jesus. Oh yes, and Michael Jackson also visited that wonderful town. So, uh, it's cool. <laughs> Finally we go to the Capoeira show, which is every evening, except maybe for Sundays or so, I forgot the schedule. It takes an hour and the ticket costs $11. So the beginning too of the show wasn't too spectacular with some calm music, but then later on the show got heated up with cool dance performances and acrobatic stunts and it was really uh, cool to see that uh, 
I always think Capoeira is a kind of break dance with fighting, you know? It's a fight dance. It is really <laughs> interesting. And I always blow my little obese Airbnb host from New Jersey who said she's doing Capoeira, but I can't imagine doing this kind of stuff because she was at least a hundred kilo. After we finished the Cabrera show, we just walked the streets and there was another performance. You know, there's so much going on in Salvador. It is amazing. Even better when there are fruits inside, so they get juicy. And what do we have here? Is it a cake? Cake. Mm. So if they make a goal here, it's not a good idea, you know, all of the street. Let's see ya. This is Salvador. Huh? Yeah, I see the giraffe. Let's see you in a pretty outfit, my little giraffe. There, you see the fireworks. See, here's the ocean. It looks a bit like Miami. You put a wood here and you go and check if the other lines are also so long. I think it's the only line. It seems super long here to market the line. So let's try Caipirinha. Do you want a full coconut? Yeah, Only 25 but cents. Really, really strange guy, you know? They said I was a strange guy. Yeah. But this guy is afraid. I, I this is a bakery, but the opening times are really weird. They open at 5 p.m., close at 11 as a bakery. Here are all the pastas. Look, I think they have something like empanada. See, we have carangesho and especial. It's just like an empanada, but they're like two US dollars. Not too cheap. It's kind of, I mean, Chile is cheaper for this stuff. At least the watermelons are cheaper. Wow, huge pizza for so 11 dollars. So today we're going to a convention here. <laughs> Wow, so cool here. Wow, it's really big here and it's all free. Vai! 
Beautiful weather today. Sunny, sunny. You get sunburn after 20 minutes only. Ah, beautiful view here. Ah, this is by Goldwick. So here is the supermarket. Bon Precio. It's very, very cheap. Oh, yes. yes. So we have papaya for 80 cents. A kilo of mango for one More US dollar. That's really cheap. Nice gym. I really like these things.